Hi you guys, welcome to Fire Friday. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sarah Nies. I am one of our chaplains, um, a part of the spiritual formation department. It is so awesome to meet you if I haven't yet. Um, and I'm just really excited to give you a message today. Um, before we get started, I'm just gonna pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, I just ask that this message be fully from you, straight from you, God. Um, please just get me out of the way. Have these words be not of my own, but be from the Holy Spirit. Um, I just ask that whoever's watching right now open their hearts and their minds to the word that you would have for them, that they can walk away from this message feeling encouraged and just um, having a newfound faith, God. So I just pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys. Um, so today I just really wanted to focus on this idea of trusting God. I've personally been in um, a situation in my life where I am having to trust God wholeheartedly right now, um, just with like my future and where I'm headed. And if I'm being completely blunt, this is something that isn't super easy for me. I think naturally I do sometimes have doubts about um, where I'm headed and just I have trouble having that full faith that God has always got me and that all things are going to work out for good and that um, everything that I'm going through and everything um, that I have been through, like all of it is just for good. and. This is something that like it's kind of hard for me so the fact that i'm having to grow in that in this current season of life is something that i definitely really wanted to touch on and i think that you guys could totally grow from as well um i like knowing all of the answers just to be honest with you guys i like um knowing where i'm headed i like being in control and feeling like my life is under control um and naturally, of course, we're not always going to have the answers. We're not always going to know where God is taking us or where we're headed. Um, and I think that when you're in situations where um, you don't know what the future holds or it's just um, things seem to be going poorly and you don't know where God is working in your circumstance or where you're having to trust that there's a light at the end of the tunnel when you don't really see it. Um, these are things that are hard and difficult, but are for our growth as disciples and are really great traits to hold as vessels for the Lord is trusting that God's got you even when you don't see it and just having that full out faith that he's always going to have our backs, um, that he's always going to be that trusting and protecting leader for us. And when I was reflecting on my own life, I'm like, man, this is something that's always been like almost a stronghold for me where I always want to have the answers. I always, um, I don't know, feel almost stuck in a circumstance in the current. Um, and I'll try to see the light at the end of the tunnel and I'll try to have that hope for where God um, is taking me. But sometimes that can be a little bit difficult to just have like full out faith like that, you know? Um, and I just, I was brought back to this memory when I was in elementary school. Um, I was a part of the Girl Scouts at the time. And I just, I remember, um, we went to this science museum at one point and at this museum, there was kind of like this obstacle course. And this obstacle course was for the purpose of using, um, your senses other than sight to get through the maze. And at the time, I was probably maybe in second or third grade when I took this trip. And it was very scary to me, <laughs> this idea of going through a maze where I would not um, be able to use all of my senses, really. So it was like a pitch black maze, really. And you kind of had to like feel your way through to get to the end of the maze. And this was like a horrifying, like, terrifying idea for me at the time. The fact that I wouldn't be able to see anything and I was purposely putting myself in a position where I would have to like feel things out and use that to get me through to the end. 
but my troop um, decided that they wanted to do this and participate in this. So naturally, I went. I took the leap of faith. I put myself in that situation, if you will. And I remember, like, at the beginning of the maze, you kind of have to um, crawl through this tunnel, um, and that's, like, the start of it. So as you're, like, crawling through the tunnel, you see, like, the light behind you, and then it just gets darker and darker and darker until you can't see anymore. And I remember there was another girl on my team who was right in front of me at the time, and um, I just remember being able to, like, see her feet, kind of, um, like, go from the light and then into the darkness, and I wasn't able to, like, see anything anymore. And, like, once you get to that certain point in the maze where you can't see, it's, like, real scary. Like, the light behind you starts to dim as you go farther. And I was like, oh, man, I do not, I do not know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm headed. But I do remember, like, calling out to the rest of the girls because there weren't, there wasn't just one girl in front of me. It was, like, my troop in front of me and, like, some girls behind me, too. And I remember just kind of voicing my concern to them, like, kind of calling out, being like, hey, like, is anyone else scared? Is this, like, worrisome to anyone else? Or, like, oh, guys, just, you know, like, I'm, I'm a little bit worried right now. And I just remember the girl in front of me was like so comforting. And she was basically like, it's okay. Like, um, if you need to like hold on to me and like have that like help you. And I'm, I can only like hear her at this point. So I'm like, okay, but so I like reach out and I can feel her in front of me. So I like grab onto her shirt and for throughout the entire maze, this girl was like, my lead, my guide. Um, I was holding onto her like the entire time, letting her take the steps before me, um, be the guide like directly in front of me. And she was just a sweetheart about it. She was like, um, be careful about this, we're turning now. At one point we had like a rope ladder that we had to climb and that was like at the very end of the maze you had this rope ladder and um, she guided me through that as well she was like hey just so you know like we're gonna start climbing now completely um, guiding me throughout the way she knew I was scared she knew I was worried and she was just kind of like looking out for me and being that guide for me at that time and it was it, it was exactly what I needed I honestly I had to put my full trust in her at that moment, trusting that she wasn't gonna lead me into a certain way, that um, she was guiding me along the way. Like my trust was in her leadership in that moment. Um, and I had all of these worries going into it that um, I would either be left behind by my troop or I would get lost in the maze. And um, all of these fears, all of these worries that were like consuming my mind in that moment, um, we're just it was unnecessary because she was she was my guide she was my leader at that time and um, I don't know she knew what was coming before I knew what was coming and she assisted me in that she she really did have my best interest at heart um, and I think that I don't know sometimes we find ourselves in these positions that are scary, um, where we don't know the outcome, but we're having to fully put our trust in something outside of ourselves, where we're having to fully put our trust in God, right? Um, all of my fears going into that were just super unnecessary because I came through it because of that girl and I accomplished something that was that was hard um, and I just kind of hope that I get to a place where I can apply that silly little Girl Scout story to my relationship with God. Um, there is this large importance in laying down our fears um, to the Lord and just kind of reflecting on God's character and trusting that he's got us. Um, there's this story in scripture that really reminds me of my Girl Scout story almost, where um, it was after the Israelites were freed from Egypt, where they were kind of just 
um, wandering through the desert at this point. It's after they cross the Red Sea, they're kind of um, on their way to the Promised Land, right? Um, and they're having to have full faith in God that he's going to provide for them, that he's going to guide them there. Um, and God does. God does. He um, provides, like, a cloud um, during the day to lead them through the desert and this pillar of fire at night guiding them through. And at this time, he's also providing them with, like, food and clothing and rest, which, like a Sabbath in Scripture is what it says. Um, and he just, he provides all of these things for them. I'm going to read a verse, actually. In Exodus 13, 21 through 22, it says, By day the Lord went ahead of them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so that they could travel by day or night. And he used these things to guide them. He was providing for them. Um, so even though it seemed like they were kind of just like lost in that moment, they didn't know where they were going, um, they were kind of stepping out in faith a little bit. They were having that full trust that God was going to be their provider, and he did. Um, and if you know this story, you know that the Israelites ended up being um, disobedient and complaining and um, just kind of all of these things like doubting. And that made their journey last 40 years in the desert wandering. And even though they were... Um, giving all of this negative attitude towards God and the work that he was doing, they were still provided for. God still provided for them throughout the 40 years. God provided for them. And he, it, it was just because he loved them so much. Um, and so we can see this example in scripture really does apply to our own lives, that God is never going to abandon us that God is always working for good, that God loves us, that we can trust in him, that he is of good character. And we just, it's so good to just be reliant on the fact that he's a good, good father, that we can have full trust in where he is leading us. Um, and even though that's not always easy to do, it's very accurate to God's character. And I think a lot of us need to learn to be okay with being placed in situations or being in circumstances where we don't know the outcome, where we don't know um, where God is leading us, but just letting go of the control in that moment and just reminding ourselves, like, I know my Father and I know that He is leading me somewhere that is going to be um, good for me. I know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I think a lot of us um, kind of need to get good at following the cloud in the desert, to get good at following the pillar of fire in the darkness, or get good at holding on to the t-shirt in the pitch black maze um, at the science museum, where we just need to be in that intimacy with God where we just need to kind of blindly follow him and be like, I'm here, God, like I am obedient. I don't see where you're taking me. I don't know where you're leading me, but I know that you're good. I know that you love me. And in that, I will walk in. Um, it reminds me of a verse that I'm going to read. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope, and a future. In this verse, we see that God is good in his character. He is so, so good. He um, is always with us. He is always hoping for us to prosper. He is, he is wanting that for us. He's wanting what is best for us. Um, and we just kind of need to be okay with that. <laughs> we need to be okay with when life isn't good sometimes or when we don't see how God is working in our lives because through that we will learn God's character and we will have uh, character growth in that. We will learn to be better disciples because of that. Um, it's just good to remind ourselves that God's got you, God's got me, and he's never going to leave us. He's always going to provide and he's always going to work for our good. 
Um, and that's just kind of what I need to learn to be rooted in today. And I hope that you can root yourselves in the same thing. So I'm going to pray us out. Dear Heavenly Father, I just ask that um, you help us to have full faith in you, full-fledged faith in you, God, that um, when we don't see where you're leading us or where you're taking us, that we can just trust that you are good and that you love us and that we can depend on you in any circumstance and through anything, God. I thank you so much for your loving and good character, and I ask that that be a reminder throughout the hard times and through the daily activities in our day-to-day -day lives, God, that you just remind us that you're always here and that we have no reason to fret or fear about our circumstance or the future because you got us. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and may God bless you. Say hi, Fire Friday. <laughs>